Um, let's work on each list item now, because obviously we don't want that blue. So secondary, li. We're going to set the font weight of these list items to bold. And I'm going to add just a border at the bottom of one pix dashed. And it's going to be 343434. There we go. And let's create some padding to give them some space. 15 on the top, 0 on the right, 11 on the bottom, and 0 on the left. There we go. And you can see here, once again, this is lining up with the navigation. And finally, let's set margin right of 30 pixels. Okay. Uh, what else? I should also style the unordered list as well, wrapping these navigations. Secondary, unordered list. And I'm going to set padding on the left of 31 pixels. And that's, I'm sorry, that's even lining it up even more by setting the left of 31 pixels because it was shifting it over more because of the default browser stylings. And let's add just a slight top margin. Okay, so that takes care of our, our secondary. I need to change the color of that text, but we'll do that later. Uh, let's do our primary content section. Now I'm going to come back to Optana, and I labeled this main section primary. So let's come back. We have primary, and we will do set a margin left of 200 pixels. Now if you see here, if I remove that, you can see that the text is overflowing into the secondary content. And that's because it was floated to the left. So we need to make sure that we set a margin left equal to or more than the width of the sidebar or the secondary div. So we'll do margin left is 200 pixels. And I'm also going to set a background of URL images slash primary bg dot jpg repeat x. And this is that subtle white to complete white gradient that I showed you about at the very beginning. And let me make sure I add a background color to that as well. And that background is E6, E6, E6. And that's equal to the, the final color at the very bottom of the image. That way, when we repeat it at the bottom, it'll stay. I am getting this texture. Where is that coming from? To be honest, I'm not sure. I'm assuming I made a mistake. So for the time being, let's just comment that out. And we'll come back later to fix it because it's not that big of a deal. All right, let's style that how we work label. Heading two, let's do padding, 46 pixels on the top, zero on the right, 15 pixels on the bottom, and zero on the left. And I'm also going to add a margin left to 46 pixels. And that gets that nice spacing. And once again, I measured that accurately uh, on Collis's design. And I could set a margin right which is what I did in my original work. I don't know exactly why I did that, so you might be able to remove, may remove. And this is, you know, sometimes you come back to your work and you think to yourself, why did I do that? And I might've been working on, you know, a different idea, but I'm not gonna remove it because it might've been needed. So I'm just gonna comment that out and I'll come back to it after we've completed the project. Uh, let's see what else. I need to set a border bottom because he had a nice just striped bottom. So we'll do border bottom is two picks dotted and it's AAB391 was the color that I picked up. And there it is, that nice subtle border. And finally, let's just style our paragraph tag and I think we're done. Primary P and padding left is going to be the same as for the heading two. If I can get organized, padding left is 46 pixels. And I'm going to set padding right as well to shift it away from the edge. Let me zoom out. Maybe a little bit more. I'm going to sh add some padding right to shift it away from over here as well. So padding, padding right, I've set to 57 pixels. Once again, based on Collis's design. Okay, I'm going to copy all of this paste it, 
back into my solution, into my styles.css file. Save that. Let's come back to Firefox. Refresh the page. That's what we originally had. Come back and let's look over it one last time. So I'm going to close this out as much as I can and zoom out a little bit. And you can see here, this is pretty much exactly the way Collis did his original, although I do need to fix that secondary section. So let's go and find the anchor tag, color white. And you know what? Even from the beginning of this screencast, I can't remember why I commented that out. Oh, that's right, because we had a white background. So we're going to uncomment that, and that'll take care of that ugly blue. OK, copy that again. Come back to Optana. Paste it. Now, one thing I'm going to do real quick is I need to move my style sheet out of my CSS folder because of the way I access to the images. I would need, whoops. I would need to go back in here and change images to dot dot slash images. But just to keep it simple, I'm going to move it out and come back into my index.html file and modify the CSS. But then when I deploy it, I would go and fix that. But I'm a little lazy and I'm trying to get this done because we're at 45 minutes. So let's refresh the page. And so there we go. There is our layout. So you can see we have, at least I hope you can see in this screencast if you zoom in, we have this nice transparency that we can see through to the background. Everything is lining up appropriately. So the navigations are and the heading are all lining up. And, you know, it's just nice spacing. We have this nice border. The only other things we need to do at this point are um, compensate for IE6 and just uh, see if there's any problems with the other browser.